Hello everyone, this is Pat Patsy here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to install Pocket BD Craft on your iOS device without jailbreaking. So there's going to be three different videos. Today, on this one specifically, is for non-jailbroken devices. I will have a jailbroken tutorial as well as Android tutorial that you can access from the description or at the end of the video. But if you're here for non-jailbroken, you're already in the right place. So we're going to go right into this, get it done quickly, and don't worry, it won't be complicated. Even if it sounds like it partially, you just follow me every step of the way and you'll be good to go within like three minutes. So don't worry, it'll be good. So first of all, I'll tell you what you need. You're going to need your iPhone, obviously, or iPod Touch, iPad, whatever iOS device you're using. You're going to need a cable to plug it into the computer. So this is the normal USB cable you use to charge the device. You're going to plug it into your computer. You're going to need a browser. I'm going to be using Google Chrome here. You can use Internet Explorer, Firefox, Safari, any browser you prefer. I prefer Google Chrome, though. Um, doesn't matter which one you use. You'll also need iTunes, and you're going to need to have something called an iPhone configuration utility, which I will link in the description, and we'll talk about that later when we actually use it. That's where it sounds some, a little bit complicated to a lot of people, but don't worry, it won't be. It's very simple. The last thing you'll need is something most people already have, but you'll need something like WinRAR or 7-Zip, which are archiving utilities for the computer. So a file archiving utility, so you can unzip and extract different files as well as compress files. So don't worry what that means exactly. We'll just go through that. Go ahead and get those tools down there and we'll go ahead and get started. So the first thing you're going to want to do is plug your iPhone or iPod Touch iPad into the computer and open up iTunes. I've already plugged my iPhone in here. So what you want to do is you want to get to your applications from iTunes. So it might be right here or it might be showing up here. Either way, you're going to want to find this icon, get access to your applications and you're going to go ahead and grab your Minecraft Pocket Edition app. You'll have all your apps here. Also, if there is no apps here, you're going to need to sync your iPad, iPhone, or iPod Touch to iTunes. These applications will be whatever you've backed up and synced. So make sure you've connected your phone, tablet, iPod before and gotten these things linked over. So once you've done that, you'll grab your Minecraft Pocket Edition and drag it off to your desktop. And uh, I've already got the IPA here, but I'll go ahead and copy and replace just so you can see. Um, you know, minimize iTunes. That's the last thing you're going to need iTunes for. Don't worry, you're already done. That's a huge chunk of this. You're already done. You've got the IPA file. This is the file that actually contains Minecraft Pocket Edition. So once you're done with that, you're going to go ahead and go to your internet browser. I'm going to be using Google Chrome, as I said before. And you want to go to bdcraft.net. Now, once you're at bdcraft.net, you're going to want to go to the downloads button here. Once you're at the download, you're going to scroll down to Pocket BD Craft for Minecraft Pocket Edition. It's been updated recently. It's here at the top. If it's not, don't worry. There's quite a few options here. Great things going on here. BD Craft has some awesome texture packs. It may be near the bottom. It may be at the top. Either way, Pocket BD Craft will be available here and is free, of course. So you go ahead and click on Pocket BD Craft. And when you're here, you can even see my review here. Um... You can scroll down to the bottom and find your downloads available right here. So this is going to be for iOS, these top three links, which is what we're looking at here because this is an iOS tutorial for non-jailbroken. So we'll go ahead and download version 0.9.5. Now 0.9.5 will also work for 0.10.0 from what I understand. So you should be okay there as well. Once this page pops up, you're going to have five seconds and you're going to go and press on skip add. And the download should start automatically. If not, go ahead and click this link right here. But mine did, so should be okay. It looks like it's about 6.7 MB, not very big file, already done. So once you've done that, you'll go ahead and minimize your browser here. And this is where you're going to find your file archiving utility. I'm going to be using WinRAR. I actually prefer 7-Zip, but most people seem to use WinRAR, so I figure it's probably best to use this one. So once you've done that, you're going to go ahead and grab your IPA file that you, you got from iTunes. You're going to click it and drag it over and let go. Now it's loaded into your Minecraft P IPA file. So you're going to go to the payload, this directory here, and go inside of there. Go inside of the Minecraft PE app file. And this is where all of the textures and other files for Minecraft Pocket Edition are stored. So that's that. So we're going to move this over just a little bit. Next, you're going to want to go down. This is where the next part comes from your downloads. So you're going to go to your downloads. I'm just going to go to documents and click downloads here. I've downloaded it a few times, as you can see, for different tests. I'm going to click on it, right click this, and do extract files. And this is where you want to choose where to extract it to. So I'm just going to have it extracted to my downloads folder here um, as this name. I'm going to click OK. 
and it's probably going to ask me if I want to overwrite because I've already got this extracted here. I'll just say yes to all. That's fine with me. And here you go. So this is where all the files are. So inside of here, there's a few methods to do this. You're going to need to select all these files. You can do it by clicking and dragging or you can press control A and select every file in this directory. Once you've done that, I'm going to bring this over here. I'm going to grab these files and pop them into this WinRAR area. It's going to ask me with this little prompt here. And you're going to say, add and replace the files. Make sure you replace the files that are currently in this area. So if it's on that right setting there, don't worry about everything else. It'll all be defaulted to the proper stuff. And you're going to click on OK. And it's going to overwrite everything with the new textures. So now you can go ahead and X out of this window. And this takes you to the very last step of this whole tutorial. So you're going to go ahead and minimize this one. And go to open your iPhone configuration utility. Now, if you're wondering how to get this, again, there will be a link in the description. If you go to your browser and literally search oh, iPhone configuration utility, you can pull up right here. It'll be the top link should be and should have a Windows as well as Mac download. You can go ahead and get See, this is for Mac, Mac as well iPhone configuration utility for Windows. So you can get the newest version 3.6.2 and grab that, download it, install it. Very easy and fast. Once you've done that, you can go ahead and search it down here and pull up iPhone configuration utility. Now, once it's open, you're going to have all your information here about your connected device. Now, what you'll do is you'll grab the IPA file that we've modified with the textures and you'll drag it in the window and pop it up at the top there. Once you've done that, you may not see anything happen because we're on devices, but you're going to have this prompt, of course, but that's not what I was talking about. We're going to say yes, replace its contents, and you're going to click on your device here. Mine says Spencer's iPhone because that's my name and it's my iPhone. I'm going to click on Applications up here on this tab, and you're going to scroll down through your apps, and you're going to find Minecraft PE right here. Now you're going to want to uninstall Minecraft PE and click the Install button once again. What you've done is you've uninstalled Minecraft Pocket Edition from your device and you're reinstalling the new IPA copy that we've overwritten to make sure you have these new texture files. So be aware, you are replacing the entire app. So if you have worlds that you don't want to lose, you're going to want to back those up separately. If you do not, you're going to be wiping them off of the world. So be careful about that. Now that you've done this, you are completely done. Your iPhone, iPod Touch, iPad, whatever you're using, is now going to have an updated version of Minecraft Pocket Edition with the textures of Pocket BD Craft, which are incredible. So, thank you guys for watching. I hope this helped you out if you needed to get help. I hope this was a helpful tutorial for you. I'm sure you're going to love Pocket BD Craft on your device. Be aware. Don't be alarmed. On your device, you're going to notice that Minecraft Pocket Edition icon is not the same. They've actually changed what its physical appearance is on the home screen. So the application will look like this. And that is what you're going to tap on to open up Minecraft. And it's going to go ahead and launch it with its full textures. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you all have a great rest of the day. And I will see you next time.